All right, guys, while Bitcoin price is moving up or down, liquidating long positions and short positions before the major move one way or another. And by the way, we have a, an area with a huge number of stop orders for short positions here above 10,450 and a kind of a sweet spot on the other side below $9,800, which in my opinion makes the move to the upside in the short term more possible because we also have another high over here with more liquidation area for the stops and here as well. So we can make kind of a ladder type move to the upside, maybe like this or maybe even like this with potential breakout from the triangle fake or a real one but anyway with a lot of the volume on the way up so let's look how this will evolve meanwhile we see some interesting moves with altcoins xrp is making new highs ethereum and so on and so forth so it seems like market made a little bit more action these days and Meanwhile, I was going to mention some fundamental things. So we looked at the price of Bitcoin from TA perspective. We also looked at the altcoins in previous videos. Today, I was going to mention one interesting thread from Hans Hodel on Twitter. He's from Ikigai Fund. We actually referred to his data before several times. And now he made a very, very nice thread summarizing some on-chain data analysis and just fundamental properties and, and characteristics of Bitcoin evolving with time and with respect to the current position current situation so i think it makes a lot of sense in terms of defining its condition on the price curve so let's just briefly look at what he posted here so first of all of course he is saying that we have the blockchain data is growing constantly so people are kind of putting their trust in this trustless quote-unquote system so in general from the fundamental point of view this is the signal for the technology going forward realized capitalization which we also pointed out some time ago is at the historical all-time high right now and through the whole history of bitcoin price action there was no example of when we had the bear market after such a move in the realized capitalization so in principle this is a signal for the continuation of the growth some characteristics of the blockchain network like mining difficulty is also at the all-time high right now so people who are mining bitcoin are believing in its future and the price will go up as well not only individuals but companies and this is also positive in a long term for the price action not to mention that we also have the pullback in the transaction fees the same as we had in the previous cycle so we had those pullbacks during the corrections and then everybody was saying okay we are about to go into a new bear territory but it never happened until the very very top at 20k and now we didn't even approach to this top for the difficulty as well supply and demand ratio defined by daily issues count is going down which basically means that there are more buyers than sellers which in turn practically pushes the price to the upside and of course cycles with uh, happening events has a lot of the impact on this process the same with the difficulty the revenue for mining is also growing constantly and on a logarithmic scale so the smooth metrics and its sustainability is a very strong signature of bitcoin stability itself not to mention that we are kind of moving with bitcoin from being a meaning of transaction of the value to store of value when we have lower and lower numbers of the coins trading and more the num more number of the coins storing or huddling and in fact if you will compare it in the historical perspective you would see that when the active supply is going down on the bull market we usually have the return to the growth period and right now we are very very close to the point from where this growth should actually happen with a different smoothing factor you would have those points more pronounced like it had in 2016 and 17th before the significant growth so we have similar point right now on an even longer time scale there are clear two points for buying like at the bottom or accumulation kind of a second chance for buying and then after that you just have to hold because there is no other major pullback or kind of a second accumulation until the new all-time high will come and again speaking about the store of value perspective uh, on the longer time scale we see that the less and less co number of coins is traded and more are stored of course there are minor peaks during well not minor but like shorter time scale peaks during the exuberant 
phases of the rise in the market but if you would compare the conditions for the consecutive cycles and the following tops you would see that the lower and lower number of the coins are actually exchanged during these tops and the more and more of them are stored probably in the expectation of even bigger price and bigger capitalization of bitcoin so of course there are more other details i would like to point out for example the number of the active addresses which stores at least some bitcoin and if you would consider the number of addresses storing more than one bitcoin it is also at the all-time high right now so guys let's be within that lucky number maybe like below 1 million people or 1 million addresses actually because one person may have more than one address of course and Hans Hodl also mentioned Soper indicator from Renato Shirakashi and Renato actually confirmed his opinion that we have very very similar situation to 2016 17th year when we had Soper below or actually very close to one at the point of the end of the correction just the same as we had around five thousand dollars during the current cycle meaning that it's very unlikely that we will go too low from that point and also volatility is decreasing with time of course with a short period of the cycle when we have the exuberant phase again is going up but generally we have the decrease in that because of the capitalization is growing and in fact the current growth of the volatility means that we are probably on the way to the new all-time high as well and finally Hans Hodl wrote about his own metrics adjusted binary bitcoin days destroyed saying that as soon as we don't see this kind of white area at the current price then we don't have the condition for the new high or at least the high before the major dip because people basically don't sell at that point well i mean smart money don't sell at that point point. and the last thing is reserve risk so-called reserved risk matrix which is showing you what is level of the risk you have when you're buying bitcoin at a certain price so right now of course we are not exactly at the accumulation phase which was like three four five thousand dollars but still we're at the very bottom of the low risk area and in fact last time price moved very fast to the upside so it may indeed be kind of a last chance to be in a very very nice position before the major bull market is will start so you see guys it's not just ta which we can use for estimation the condition the current state of the market for bitcoin but there is a lot of different metrics and many of them are rather fundamental in nature and it seems like almost all of them if not all of them are pretty bullish for bitcoin so we'll continue to look at the price and see if this logic will actually play out i hope it will and so far that is it for today thank you for watching